In this lecture, I will take you through some variables called system variables. And in Octopus Deploy level two, we dig into more features of Octopus Deploy. So we know that in order to create variables, we go to a project and in the variables tab, we can define our projects. However, we are not limited to these variables. We can use some variables that come out of the box and we call them system variables. And you can use them everywhere within the Octopus Deploy, just like you use a normal variable variable. As an example, if I wanted to use any of the system variables somewhere in my project, let's say in bindings, I could click on this insert variable and then all the system variables would be available to me via this drop down. And as you see, they always begin with Octopus and they are categorized in extra parameters such as account, environment, deployment, and so forth. The most important one that I can point out is environment. This will tell you where your package is being deployed to. And it's very common that we have to pass the name of the environment to our deployment scripts. You can use that with octopus.environment.name. For example, if I deploy this to production environment, this is going to give me production. Also, we have Octopus.action that gives you information about what's going on during deployment. The most important piece is action.package because if you want to know what package you are deploying and things like that, you get that with action.package. The most important one is package ID and package version and original file name. This will give you information about the package that you are deploying. Also, if you want to know where the package is being deployed to, installation directory path or custom installation directory path will give that to you. You also have Octopus release that gives you release information, for example, release number and release notes and things like that. And you have deployment as well. In deployments, you have information about your deployment. For example, when something was deployed, this is very useful. If you want to generate release notes, you can get this information. For example, you can say deployment was created by user X at this day and time and was deployed at this day and time to this such and such environment. You can use that. There are many of these variables. Honestly, it's impossible to explain all of them in a lecture. However, however, I will post the link to a page in Octopus Deploy website which is about system variables and you have the full list of system variables here. When we work on more projects in Octopus Deploy level 2 section, I will use more um, system variables and I will show you what you can do with system variables. You don't need to learn everything. You can always come to this page and use it as a reference when you work with Octopus Deploy projects.